welcome to the funnest road test that I think we've done yet. Maybe yeah. even better than the skydiving. Yeah, we're on a boat with a whole pod of dolphins surrounding us and uh, taking pictures with our new action cam. I know, we're so old school, we're actually using cameras instead of phones. So I am gonna try out the hopefully waterproof and otherwise rugged Fujifilm Fine Picks XP200. And you have the Olympus Tough TG2. Indeed. Now both of these are supposed to be good underwater up to about 50 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna test it with just snorkeling in the water and then we're gonna hand them off to some divers to try to take them just a tiny bit deeper. Yeah. Tiny bit deeper. Oh my god, look at this, Jeff. Like they're just swimming right there. That's so cool. Wow. Look at that shot. Dude. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's outstanding. All right, I have to say, so far, our cameras are holding up pretty well. Yeah. It's gonna come down to image quality. Okay, so we have the two Tims here. Yeah, we wanted to make it fair, so we got two Tims. <laughs> We didn't want because to have that any. makes it more awesome. Exactly. Uh, and the Tims are divers. We are not. Neither Jeff or I are dive certified. So we're gonna go ahead and give each of you a camera. Tims, are you ready? Are you rock? All right. Let's do this. Good luck. Ah. Nice. Tims down. Tim, two Tims in the water. Two Tims in the water. Two and cameras in the I water. I think one thing we can guarantee is that Tim will win. <laughs> Olympus might be done. Oh no! Oh, it was on all the way to 130 feet. It lost focus around 80. Okay. And then just when we started coming up, she shut off. Oh. Really? She has the vent. We need to get her one of those chambers. <laughs> so it went to 100. It was fine. Yeah. And slower and slower. Still taking pictures of the other 10 at 130. Wow. wow! Pretty sweet. It's got much more problems oh, than that. Oh, it's got problems. Oh, look at the screen. It's like a so I'm assuming there may be some water in yours. I dried mine off to open the battery compartment, but should we take it? Yeah, first? unlocking it and opening the battery compartment. Uh, and there's definitely moisture in there. Oh no. Right oh yeah, you can see a little water right there. Yeah, oh. some droplets. Yeah. So that might be what happened to it. Okay, just because uh, my camera doesn't work anymore and every glass surface has moisture oh. under it, <laughs> oh, does doesn't it? mean the pictures might not be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check them out. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice shot though. Thanks. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. I know. Oh, Isn't that awesome? That was a great. That was the best wow. moment ever. That's a great photo. That's, you gotta print that. Yeah. You gotta put that on the wall. I have to say though, I'm thinking the image quality is almost a draw at this point. I agree. Unfortunately for your camera, that does not appear to be the deciding factor. It was fine down to 50 feet, but below that, not so much. I think that both of these cameras did a great job with pictures and video, both. Absolutely, I would feel perfectly comfortable taking any of these on a snorkeling trip. I just think if you're gonna mess up, 
maybe go a little more rugged, yeah. that ultimately the Fujifilm stayed strongest. It's a little unfair. It says right on the front, 50 feet. <laughs> so we did exceed that, but if you're going to award a winner, the guy that can go beyond and still hold up has got to be the winner. Yeah, I mean, I think it's clear that even in non-optimal circumstances, the Fujifilm Fine Pix XP200 is the ruggedest. Welcome to the funnest road test that I think we've done yet. Maybe yeah. even better than the skydiving. Yeah, we're on a boat with a whole pod of dolphins surrounding us and uh, taking pictures with our new action cam. I know, we're so old school, we're actually using cameras instead of phones. So I'm gonna try out the hopefully waterproof 